you slow Wanna learn me so fast Pretend we're young Should we get started? Alright, what's up everybody? Welcome to Stories of Hope. This is like segment number 21, I think. Thank you so much for... I'm going to cut the music one second. Thank you so much for joining me. I thoroughly appreciate it. Tell me where you're all from. Bhutan. What's up, Bhutan? How are you? Uh, we're going to dive right in. We got a double segment today. Lots of stuff to cover. Um, let's see. Can I add you? No, I can't add you. That would be really weird. Come on. Where's everybody from? Hi, I love you too. Do, 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 Punjab, what's up? Mumbai, what's up? Kerala, bro, what's up? Kuala Lumpur, love that place. Been there many times. India, obviously. I was saying a little more, you know, definition, location. All right, we're going to jump right in. Um, Nagaland, what's up, Nagaland? Rajasthan, Rajasthan, hello, hello. Hey, yo, what's up, Nagaland? Okay, cool, we're going to jump right in. Uh, like I said, this is the 21st segment of the show. Thank you so much for all the support and everyone that you have been supporting through all the resources that we've been providing and people have been using it. Thank you, we've been getting a lot of DMs. What's up, Ninad? Nice to see you. Uh, a lot of DMs coming in for people that have been able to seek help and people able to uh, use the resources for loved ones, for family, and for people that they don't know. What's up, Rajasthan? Okay, so we're going to jump right in here. Uh, my name is Daniel Weber. If you know me, great. If you don't, too bad. You're on my show. It's not a talk show. I'm not a talk show host. It's not a, celeb uh, it's not a celebrity chat show because I'm not a celebrity and I don't really chat with celebrities. What's up, Agra? What's up, Mumbai? So... Um, we talk about, uh, we talk with different people every day that have resources that they're giving back to society and, um, to their communities, people that are helping stories of inspiration, stories of hope. So as every day, as I do, I give a shout out to the healthcare workers and to the, uh, journalists for being frontline workers and telling us the real story that is going on on the ground. It's very important. What's up, Mesour? And, um, well, Mysore, I don't know if it's Mysore or Mysore, but either way, it's beautiful. And, um, we, uh, want to give them a big shout out because it's very important. They're doing a wonderful job. All the doctors, nurses, assistants, people in the hospitals. Thank you so much. You've done a great job helping flattening the curve. You're doing really good. Uh, today, today was actually an improving day. Otherwise, although you think of the numbers as they went up a little bit, it was like 2.08 lakh new cases. Don't be discouraged that it went up by 12 or 14,000 because we did 2.1 million tests. And to only go up by, you know, uh, 12,000 new cases within the testing, um, that is actually pretty remarkable. Am I a weed smoker? I mean, you know, occasionally. Um, so do I look like a weed smoker or something? So uh, with that being said, the positivity rate has actually come down to 9.42%, which is really good, actually. It's been the best that it's been in probably over, I don't know, 45 days in India. Um, states, 14 states are seeing a recovery rate of 14% or higher, which is, uh, oh, sorry, uh, 14 states are seeing a recovery rate of 90% or higher. That is amazing. Um, and other very interesting news, there is one Indian who decided to bicycle 116 kilometers to raise money for COVID. Amazing. I don't know his name. Good job. Very inspirational. And another uh, interesting fact is that uh, the UK has been working with dogs, and they are, I'm reading this, dogs can be trained to detect more than 90% of COVID infections when the patients are asymptomatic. Think about that for one second. According to the London School of Tropical, which is for dogs. Think about that. Imagine, just like dogs can sniff out drugs and bombs and all kinds of shit at the airports and borders. Think about that if a dog is trained to sniff out COVID asymptomatic people, COVID positive people. That's remarkable. In London, the research is saying that they are having a high success rate. Just think about how amazing that would be. So 
If that is true, it would be great. Now, we're going to jump right in because we have two guests today. Uh, the first guest today is Ritu. She is. Ritu is. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. Happiness basically is human resource person. Um, she teaches on how to be happy, how not to panic, and how to keep motivated. We're going to have a short conversation. Let's bring her in. See what Ritu is all about right now. Boom. There she is. She's ready to go. I love this. She's going to tell us more about her. I don't know her. She is uh, someone who I'm not even sure how we came across each other, but we are going to be here together and it's going to be great. And I'm going to ask her a couple of questions. You're almost there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Very dark over there. Yeah. Hi, how are you? She came and she went. Should we bring her back in? Hi, Monica. Let's bring her back in. That was a very interesting. I don't know what that was. Let's bring her in. Do, do, do. Here we go. We're going to call her in again. So, Ritu, if you hear me, uh, it was really dark where you were, and then sort of the phone fell down. So, let's see what's going on with that. Dun, dun. Oh, hi. Sort of. I see a fuzzy screen, but I don't see you. Oh, there you are. Hello. Hi, Daniel. How are you doing? I'm good. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Vizak right now, where you have the cyclone stuff at the moment. So there's a bad connectivity. You know what? I'm in Kerala, and we already passed the cyclone, and it was three days here, and there was terrible connectivity in the middle of my show. Power is going out. Oh, going out so I totally understand it. Oh, I, I totally understand, and I can relate because the temperatures were just going haywire since the afternoon, yeah. and then now the weather is all you know. You don't know what would happen next. So. Yes, yes, yes. I know. So, uh, well, you yes. are safe. Obviously, you are safe during the cyclone. I can't believe the cyclone is still I'm, going. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing fine, Daniel. Thanks for asking about it, and hopefully, uh, I think it was supposed to reach here in the morning, but again, thankfully, I've done my. Uh, job in the morning. The run was absolutely amazing. Oh. So I said, okay, now we can probably uh, just Very wait nice. for the cycle to just pass by. Very nice. So uh, take a second to introduce yourself to everybody. Okay. Uh, Daniel, I'm basically into human resource. So, these, uh, so it is completely into helping people and helping people in terms of uh, recruitment, training and development and employee engagement. So it is basically motivating them. It is basically training them on a particular subject and then putting them across. So uh, if, if I go ahead and, okay, first I need to go ahead and tell you this, Daniel, that you're doing an amazing job. Oh, thank you, you are just doing this fantastic job because all over the places people are, you know, you have astrologers, you have HR professionals, you have doctors. Have you helping, have these are just people helping people. You know, this is what this is about, providing resources that people can uh, listen to what other people are offering and how their services mm -hmm. and resources are available to them. And it's very important. I think in this time, it's important. That's to Absolutely right, Anya. And, and as I said, I have I have just jotted on a few points also so oh. that I can talk to you on this. You're so I have this prepared. entire. Yes. In fact, I have done all this uh, Thing. So I said, okay, oh, let I'm me then give a hand. I'm very, I'm very prepared. Don't worry. I'm just joking. That that goes <laughs> that goes without saying. I got it all down. Okay, so Daniel, okay. basic, yeah. basically, basically so in hold this twenty. Before we dive in, I want to know where were you in March of 2020 when the pandemic started? Okay, when the pandemic started, I was here in Vizak itself. I was taking care of my mother. She she is an elderly person. She's almost like. 65 plus so i was taking care of her also in the time of pandemic when it started so i as an individual have gone ahead and help people in terms of giving them masks and stuff at that point of time wow very nice and right now uh, the situations looking at the situations first I see you don't have to wait for somebody to go ahead and tell you that pushy this is your job to do you have to individually understand yourself I agree with that. So, in this terms, uh, I thought, why not go ahead and first start from your home? Because any any charity starts from your home itself. Yes. So, I started taking care of my parents and then again started taking care of myself. 
and started taking care of the building the way we were to stay and then it went as a society as stuff the whole society have been coordinating with uh, in terms of the pandemic when it started and then it happened my city visakhapatnam it happened complete vizag yeah and it went on and on so uh, i should thank uh, basically daniel i should thank the social media because first thing people are there to help you at any yes. point of time yes. they are there to go ahead and if if i need a resource like i had i had experiences lot of experiences if i if i say uh, people have gone ahead and told me we need uh, cylinders we need hospital beds so it happened that uh, in hyderabad or in bangalore or various locations i have gone ahead and approached people i have asked for the help when it comes to you social media platforms i'm doing the same exact thing it's really remarkable you know i tell people just post on social media what do you need you need a cylinder you need an icu bed you need medicine you need food and you know what in minutes i get people responding then we link them up with people that they don't know people they never would have known social media is going to stop this pandemic absolutely right daniel and uh, uh, then for 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 one instance where uh, i have been struggling see i i think this is a great platform to talk about it uh, when i uh, this was the time when i was struggling this was just two weeks back when i was asking people on social media itself or in the entire city of mine that few people need uh, they needed plasma yeah they wanted cylinders so these two things were the main thing at that point of time just two weeks back so i had to talk to these people and tell them that i need cylinders i need plasma yeah so kindly i started this initiative of going ahead and starting the donation campaign because few people were not able to go ahead and afford the cylinders correct so i would not say out of 100 they were just five to seven responses there were very very less responses in those terms yeah. so uh, i was a little um, you know i was little taken back that you oh, know you i got encouraged you just kind of have to figure out a new way of doing it and keep being persistent Abs- absolutely and then i got this uh, thing that uh, i've spoken to people i've told them why don't you go ahead and donate since you already are out of covid right now yeah. so why don't you go ahead and donate so that is the best thing either donate or either give it to whatever you like but do please it. do it do it yeah. so it happened right now i am um, i'm going ahead and doing the medicine campaign that is the donation of the medicines Very where nice. people already are out of covid and they have the medicine stock so they can probably help each other Correct. so this is yeah. what i have started uh, i love it and what we're going to do is uh we're going to have you share with me where people can donate any information so we can repost it as well and then after that we Absolutely. want other people repost it because as we just said the power of social media is remarkable today and Absolutely. Really Absolutely. I I can totally relate or yeah. connect here because uh, it is just that you know when when we when you have said stories of hope so i said why not stories of joy stories of interest stories of serenity so i made all these points Oh wow. So these are something you know these are something wherein you can just go ahead and tell people that be kind be grateful See, we all have to be very grateful at this point of time Correct So Okay that's that's what I can say Read read me a few points before you tell people where they can find you and then I of course you know let you go to be safe in the uh, cyclone but read a few points off that What else be kind be grateful okay. what else Okay you have to have the interest you have to have the hope you have to have the gratitude in okay. fact uh, i make this gratitude journal every day uh, we all have to be thankful of what we have that is the first thing uh, daniel because uh, if you're not thankful of what you have you're not happy at all so and yes in this pandemic uh, i have seen a lot of people going ahead with uh, anxiety issues depression issues You know, I think that's the I'll tell you something about that. I uh, I have a lot of mental health experts on the show. I actually did my first anxiety therapy session for myself uh 2 days ago um because with Anand Chulani because um I want people to know that it's normal actually during such a 
crazy time to have anxiety. It's not abnormal and people shouldn't be afraid of it. It's tough for people. You know, people are out of work. People have no money. People need to just take care of their loved one. It's a lot of pressure. They're locked up inside. I mean, we're 16 months into this. It's a long journey and we're not, you know, we have a little while to go before it's done for sure. So I understand yeah. people anxiety and I think that uh, being grateful was one of the things that the therapist actually said live to me was that make sure you're grateful for all of the things that you already have. And you sometimes need to remind yourself that of every day, every day, because you sort of overlook that. It's very easy to overlook that. And I do the same thing. I have a lot in life, but I overlook it. And I go through anxiety as well, because it's a lot of pressure to take care of people, to try to help other people that I don't know, but yet I want to do it but it's still a lot of pressure to do it. And anxiety is normal. And I think that we all sort of have to work through it so we don't get sick and we have to learn how to deal with it and how to work through it and uh, methods. It's very important. I just want to share that. Uh, right, Dami. Uh, as you said, anxiety. Anxiety is just a frame of mind. Uh, I'll, t I'll just give you a small example. Yeah. I just had my friend who lost her dad from, during the COVID. Yeah. And uh, she was... She was broken. Obviously, I lost my dad. I cannot say it was in pandemic, but yeah. it was a it was it was a natural disaster. What oh, happened? Oh. The hood happened. So it was only me who was taking care of my dad. Yeah. So if you understand the pressure, uh, if a single girl is going ahead and doing all these stuffs, so it is a lot of pressure on your mind. Exactly, I can totally understand upon it. But uh, this is what I feel, anxiety or panic attacks. If you have something in your mind, it will definitely come to your heart. You, all, you always feel that. And that's where it is when your heart palpitations or everything goes on and off. Correct, correct. So you yeah. would feel that somebody is just choking you off and you would die in, in the middle of the night. And there are a lot of emotions coming in. Yeah, of course. So this is what I, I always, uh, I, when people call me up or uh, they call me as a depression healer sometimes, but uh, this is what I tell them. What you keep in your mind is something that, you know, it is just going on and on. If you don't have, if you don't, if you're not ready to take it out of your mind, you have to be mentally prepared first. Mm. See, it, it is like, yeah. it would be easy for me to go ahead and say, uh, Daniel, you need to work on your hobbies, you do this, you do that, you'll be perfectly fine and stuff. But again, what you're going through is what you're going through. You, you know it better than me. Yeah, correct. You know, it, you know it better than anybody else. So uh, I, I would just go ahead and say that if you keep everything in your mind, you would definitely have issues. It is just that what you like. Suppose if you like to go ahead and just be in the nature, be in the nature. If yeah. you want to take the social media out of your life, that is also a very good thing, uh, Daniel. If you, it, it's just like disconnect to reconnect. You know, I get that too. And I, I've been told that a lot of times, you know, listen, I'm addicted to social media. I'm also addicted to news. I analyze everything. I want to know what's going on. I analyze numbers. I do it for this show. And I also do it just for my own self because uh, half of my mm -hmm. life is in the mm -hmm. West. Half of my life is in India. I like to see what's going on in the West, how they're opening up and everything is getting back to normal. And I sort of try to analyze to figure out when that will happen in India by using their numbers and how many days or months they are ahead of us in terms of the pandemic and the second wave and third wave. So I sort of get that disconnect. And that is a big problem. Uh, and I use everyone's amazing resource like yourself and all the great inspirational things that people are doing like yourself to connect more people on social media. So I'm never disconnected. And I know that helps yes. but Anyway, so listen. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the question. You know, that's the but question which comes into picture at that point of time. I, I know. <laughs> I can well, totally understand. Uh, please tell people where they can find you and where they can donate and where they can help. Please tell them. Sure. Uh, this is my sincere request to everybody at this point of time. Since uh, the COVID cases in my city are just going a little lesser. So uh, in terms of the ICU beds or in terms of, uh, we used to do this as an individual, uh, uh, Daniel, I used to check on the individual beds for these people yeah. from the oxygen cylinders, from talking to the relatives and stuff. 
so all this at this point of time it's done so what people have to do right now it's donate medicines that's right. the most important extra thing. medicine that they and have at home donate the extra medicine absolutely Somewhere. and the second thing would be yes and the second thing what they can do is remain the same after pandemic also because well, that, that listen i mean that uh you hope you hope humanity will be but uh i don't know i have an opinion about that i think we're going to slingshot the other direction so far because it's going to be just people just are going to be wild and they're going to the consumption is going to be insane of everything that i think that that's a hard thing to ask people because they've already for 16 months and it'll be 24 months by the time it's done they will have been so cooped up like in a cage but tell people where they donate the medicine where do they donate on use medicine okay uh, they can they can contact me on uh, instagram okay. since okay. i'm there yeah. on instagram okay and i'm there on facebook i can uh, i can provide my number out here in instagram okay. but uh, yes for one reason i get a lot of people request asking how are you doing and stuff which i don't entertain No, no, I really we'll, want people to be on the point. We're, you're going to just WhatsApp me uh and like sort of a flyer or something where or something that we can post a picture and the information of where to donate and to DM you and we leave it at that and we will post it, okay? Thank you so much Daniel that that was so so wonderful of you and as I always said that uh let this humanity be there because at this point of pandemic it's not about a celebrity it's not about rich or poor it's not about people it's about being united because I, if you don't if you don't have a healing heart for yourself you cannot heal the world so that's that's the most important and the priority thing which any person should understand so uh, right. i i always say have a very very kind heart because at the end of the day you're not taking anything with yourself that is for sure it's it's unpredictable that's true you know there's a famous saying yeah, uh, so in the states you know when you in india it's different but when you are in a coffin or a casket you are put in the back of a hearse which is the car that they bring you so yes. you've never seen yes. a hearse that has a luggage rack and that's what we say right. so you're not taking absolutely absolutely yeah. i agree with you on this on and, that note, and, but, okay yes. go ahead yes And and on that thing Daniel I was just seeing your post on the monkeys how how are they doing Oh my god that's why I'm broadcasting indoors now It was beautiful outside <laughs> now I'm totally freaked out because they're crazy But I don't mean to cut you off on that note I have a guest coming on as well that I want her to share what her resources are for people and uh Hi. thank you so much please uh people you thank can Thank you DM so much on news medicine please you can DM her you can send she will and uh we will be posting all the information of where people can get a hold of you thank you so much daniel thank and you. thanks for being so so sweet and yes. such a nice gesture please um, be safe i would only be grateful and you take care of yourself be safe and uh during the cyclone yes. or whatever's happening there and as well uh be safe you. you know wear one mask five masks i don't know what you have to do anymore okay <laughs> two mask and you be safe <laughs> god bless so you much. daniel and yes. take care of yourself bye thank you Okay, thank you very much Ritu. She's amazing, Ritu. Uh the medicine drive is really an interesting thing. I've heard that a lot. Um so she's a really wonderful resource. Unused medicine. We all have so much unused medicine. So she is a great resource for that to get that to the correct people who need it. Super. Thank you so much. Uh next, we are going to have Ashrita Zen Yoga. Now, I don't know Ashrita, but I am going to call her in here because I think that she has something very interesting that she should share with us. And dun, 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 there she is. Let's see if she's on. Sorry, I'm late by the way. I think I'm saying it right. Ashrita. Oh, hi. Hi guys. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Am I saying it right? Ashrita? Is that okay? It's Ashrita, but yeah, that's okay. fine. Why <laughs> so I apologize before. Please introduce no yourself. introduce yourself to everybody. Uh so I am a yoga trainer by profession and as well uh, I also take uh sound healing sessions. I do pranayama. Right now I also have uh some covid related um pranayamas and meditations that I am also doing. 
and uh, yeah so that is what i'm doing i do uh, i also take uh, hatha yoga yin yoga before the lockdown i used to also do aqua yoga and ayurveda yoga also wow. and partner yoga but yeah after the lockdown uh, it was impossible uh, i was in goa just when it was going to get locked down last march for my 300 hour training but uh, yes i i had to come back uh, a few days earlier because of the whole scenario okay wonderful now um actually i was just asking you for your name but that was an amazing introduction that you gave yourself <laughs> thank you <laughs> so, um i'm just joking so um okay tell me uh you were you are where right now i don't even know where you are i'm right. in bangalore oh okay wonderful so i had no idea okay now i always tell people i don't know who my guests are on the segment ever which is what yeah. i think is great because that way people don't assume they're just like friends joining in so yeah has no idea anything i'm going to be learning about you and what you do and the resources you provide so thank you very yeah. much for on the show and um we kind of keep it short and condensed and we go right at it now march yeah. 2020 where were you you were in bangalore or goa i was in goa doing my 300 hour training there Okay. um but yeah i had to take a flight back as soon as i heard that there's going to be a lockdown and stuff like that so thankfully um i could complete a bit of it and i'm still in touch with my teachers and uh, you know i could you know i can always refer back and ask them for any doubt if i have any doubts so that's a good thing so have people contacted you during the pandemic to seek help in terms of through yoga or through mental wellness and anything else yes actually i have got a lot of uh, covid recovery patients covid patients uh, clients actually who have been my clients before uh, like for regular yoga they have yep. also you know got covid so a few of them like they shifted their course to a little more basic uh yoga and breathing meditations and breathing techniques basically meditations to help them uh with their anxiety and uh with their stress of being alone at home the worst part about this whole scenario is you can't even hug the person i'm a hugger so i i mean i love to go and hug the person but the worst thing is in this whole virus you just can't do that so yeah that kind of breaks my heart and I have also been uh, collaborating with a lot of uh, like Provision Asia and a lot of these places that are helping with like Provision Asia was doing um, they are taking care of the disabled people so they yeah and there are uh, they've lost four uh, disabled people due to covid uh, in the last few months uh, one happened i think just yesterday I finished with my workshop today where uh, a certain of my proceeds went to them as well right. and um, yeah and I'm also I've also recorded a few videos to give to a few of these places that you know they can't afford classes or they cannot really yeah. you know they don't know what to do I was going to ask yeah. that. that's a good thing so no I um, have recorded a few things for them one so why do you think that uh I mean anxiety seems to be the biggest like the most used term. I mean even myself I find myself that I have anxiety yeah. through a lot of this pandemic um for a million different reasons of course uh but the people that come see you yoga itself helps them with anxiety or is there something else that is helping them that you are kind of uh helping? yoga as a uh, exercise is actually helping you yoga and breathing together kind of helps the mind body and soul you know get balanced in a way so okay. that kind of i think it automatically just helps like just breathing itself like breathing in the right way helps like when you inhale your chest comes up your stomach goes out sometimes people are also breathing wrong i didn't know well, I this believe. until i started teaching people I so and that. then when you training even with weights uh i'm yeah. in the gym and like that's a big thing breathing even in regular training 50% yeah. of people are so screwed up that it's actually affecting their training yeah yeah that kind of this uh, like breathing really does help with any like for example to tell you 
the truth, like to really be honest with you, I was a little anxious, like I'm very anxious to be like in front of the camera, even though I think I should be used to it by now because I've been teaching clients and stuff. Yeah, hey, but why not? I, We're just two people chatting, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, so that that I mean I, that's what like just gives me some. I was I was a bit anxious, but then as soon as like I joined the live and I saw your face, I was like, okay, I I can feel now. <laughs> oh, good! I'm very welcoming. Well, that's very funny because I'm usually anxious about a lot of other things, but when I am uh, talking to people on this segment, I am never anxious. It's like a great outlet for me. It's very relaxing. That's great. That's actually great. That's actually great. Yeah, that's that's nice that you can find your. Like your setting, you know, your balance yeah. to it. I think it helps so me. It. Uh, it really helps me to hear other people doing great things. I like that, and then yeah. it in turn gives other people a resource to contact you or other people that I've had, and I enjoy that, and it relaxes me. So I'm going to tell yeah. you a yoga story now. I don't don't usually share very many personal stories, but so do you do Bikram yoga? Uh, no, not really. I haven't uh, done Bikram yoga, but uh, I have. Uh, I have gone to Kerala for my two hundred hour course, which was Vinyasa, Hatha, and a little bit of Ashtanga yoga, but not okay. not Bikram yoga. No. So I was convinced to do Bikram yoga, probably like I don't know, maybe ten times or something, maybe two years ago. Okay. In Los Angeles, and you know, maybe like hundred degree rooms, this kind of stuff, really hot, crazy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I found nothing relaxing about it. It actually made me stressed out. And I will yeah. tell you two reasons. Number one, I don't. I like sweating. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, I don't find that it helps me to breathe easier, though. And if yoga is about breathing, why do I want to be in a hundred degree room? I just don't understand that. And maybe you can help me understand that. And the other thing was, I have a weird thing. And you tell me this is just me, or this is actually normal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Know, the strange thing is when an instructor is teaching but not doing. Yeah. That. And okay, I I completely agree with you. Okay. I completely. So this guy was teaching and would never do any of these crazy poses. And Bikram yoga is ninety minutes. That's a hell of a long time in the hundred yeah, degrees. Yeah, it is. And we're dripping yeah. wet. And he's just sitting on a box crate like this. Yelling out things, I'm telling you, it made me more angry to look at him because he's not doing shit. So I completely I'm agree with you. <laughs> no, no problem, you can rant. I, I, I'm. This is what I do. Uh, yeah. So for me, I think that is more of a form of losing weight. Like there are people who want to lose weight. So, you know, the, so basically, I've been teaching for about six years. No. Uh, for and a half years now, and uh, yeah, so my first year of teaching, I would get a lot of people coming to me saying, you know, I want to do yoga, but you know, I can't do like the high intensity workout, but I want to do yoga and lose weight, and they expect to see results in like you know a month or two months, like they would see in other kind of exercises. Um, so, like the first year, it kind of took me time to say no that it's not going to happen that way, and uh, it like I felt bad that you know I'll probably lose my clientele or you know I I was all over the place a little yeah, and then finally I found myself I found the way to go about it, and I I started telling people that it's it's not to lose weight, it's to maintain weight. And also, if you want to do yoga to lose weight, then you have to probably do Ashtanga yoga almost every day. Like that's also ninety hours or six sixty to ninety hours a day, and uh, actually sweat it out, you know. Yeah. But it's not it's not an easy process. Yoga is more of getting that balance in yourself, getting you know feeling to see that you know like looking at each aspect of your life. It's more of a lifestyle. Like from what goes into your mouth to what you put on your skin to how you move for your asana, and also a lot of posture alignment comes along with it because that's what I start teaching first. My first thing is posture alignment. So um, I I need to like there are a lot of people after that after I started saying no and I started telling them the reason as to you know why I don't do yoga for weight loss. No. And I do the other things is because uh, yoga for flexibility, yes, but 
when it comes to this is because it it is more of a lifestyle for me it's more of um a complete shift of uh how things were earlier and now you change that for yourself you look at things from a different perspective from mind body soul everything and it just works it just works like there are a few things like few asanas like you know for um flexibility for getting your bowel movements for you know so the lack of anxiety meditation yeah so they're very specific so i think that's one of the biggest problems is that people aren't guided correctly and they just go do yoga like myself generally go do yoga because someone told me to go do yoga and then i'm not even yeah. doing yoga for the reason that i should be doing it where yeah. if let's want to do it to help with anxiety i'm probably yeah. doing the wrong yoga so yeah obviously someone like you would know better now probably Thank i've you. never actually done the correct yoga in my life yet I I would love to do a segment with you to you know have you know class. I think we're going to do a live segment. Yeah, for sure. Some yin yoga or hatha yoga take it a little slow and uh you know, we we can do something like that. That would be interesting. We're going to do that. This is going to be cool. We're going to do that. I'm yeah. just gonna... I'm excited. I'm so honored to no, first no. of all be here on your live. When I saw you like in my DMs I was a uh, I was a bit shocked and then I I couldn't believe myself like it took me about 15 minutes to breathe calm myself <laughs> down and then tell my husband what happened like you know who no, messaged me <laughs> You're doing something great right? and this is what this is about so you need to inspire Thank people you. uh and so before we go I want you to tell people where they can find you they obviously everything is done via Zoom right now for you or via video uh so yes right? yes okay. everything is online as of now Okay. And um is it group classes or one on one or mix? So I do have group classes, I do have private classes as well. I also take corporate classes. I do have a separate segment for covid uh, related patients. Uh people who are recovering from I love that so much. So here's what I want you to do because that's amazing and I love that. Um Thank you. I, you're going to send me some kind of like creative that sure. states that you are doing this for covid recovering patients uh because yeah. that I want to pass out everywhere. I want that to go in the media because that's very important. I think these Thank kind of resources you. is extremely yeah. important for people to know because you're talking about numbers of tens and tens of millions of people. And yes. yeah. it's so hard to even really fathom the number of people that are recovering and we don't even realize yeah. that. I mean, we're happy to see, you know, 2 lakh is the new cases of the day. and we're just happy yeah. that it's down you have to think about every 3 days we're at a million people so you have yes. to think about 100 million 200 million people that are recovering or have recovered yeah. so this I, so please share me with something because i want that to go out to everybody sure i will do that i will do that thank Perfect. you so much daniel for having me thank you and people can dm you i assume if they have any questions yes, correct yes people can dm me on daniel gashala uh it's a public account so you all can dm me there if you all have any yoga related question pranayama related questions or anything to do with meditation and also with related to any yoga with uh not really yoga but just a few asanas and uh pranayams and breathing exercises for uh and meditation for covid related patients as well i love it thank you so much thank you thank you so much yeah. daniel You please be safe. Take care. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. She was great, right? She has so much knowledge. I love that. I love people with knowledge. That's amazing. So, the takeaway for me is that this number one, I probably did the wrong yoga, but that's okay. Number two, that she helps recovering COVID patients. and yoga is a huge help with that and that is huge and i love that and i think that is super in this time like i said we're talking about 100 million people i don't even know what the correct number is in india alone but since we're doing it on video hey we're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of people globally so you should get in touch with her she obviously seems like she knows what she's doing and again she's not my friend i don't know her but i have a feeling she knows what she's doing So, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh we had a double segment today. 
Sorry if it kept you really long. Whoa, it is really long. It's a 40 minute show. This is like crazy. And let's see here. Any questions, any questions before I go? We got 30 seconds. You can rewatch this because I know I talk really fast and sometimes you want to see what the other guests are saying. Um, you can catch us on YouTube, catch it on Facebook. You can catch it on uh, IGTV. We will keep replaying it. We will be reposting it and we will make sure that, um, you know, you're getting all the information you need. So please take care, be safe. And is there any last question at all? Dun, 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 dun. Any question that's worth answering and not just a bunch of crap. What's up, what's up? Me too, thanks for coming on. Yes, 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 thank you, thank you. And thank you for both my guests. Thank you so much. See you later, enjoy, be safe. Do it is whatever you're doing. Bye.